This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo, levels 1112, problem number 25. In the morning, the ice cream shop offers 16 flavors. Anna wants to choose a two-flavor ice cream. In the evening, several fla flavors are sold out, and Bella wants to choose a three-flavor ice cream from those flavors left. Both Anna and Bella can choose from the same number of possible combinations. How many flavors were sold out? A, two, B3, C4, D5, or E6. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we'll be doing the solution. So let's start with Anna. We know that Anna wants to choose a two flavor ice cream from 16 flavors. So the total number of ways she can do that is 16 choose two which is 16 factorial over 2 factorial times 14 factorial. Well, we can rewrite 16 factorial as 16 times 15 times 14 factorial. In this way, we can cancel out the two 14 factorials, one on the top, one on the bottom, and we're left with 16 times 15 over 2. 16 is divisible by 2, so we can rewrite this as 8 times 15, which is a total of 120 combinations. And we wanted to find this number because the problem tells us that both Anna and Bella can choose from the same number of possible combinations. So if Anna can choose from 120 combinations, then Bella must also be able to choose from 120 combinations. And we'll be looking at her right now. Bella wants to choose a three flavor ice cream from flavors left. So some flavors are sold out by the time Bella gets there. Let's say that X is the number of flavors that are left. So that way, Bella's choosing three out of these X options, which gives us X factorial over three factorial times X minus three factorial, right? Because we have three that we're choosing out of a group of X. So again, factorial just means x times x minus 1 times x minus 2, so on. So we can rewrite the x factorial in the numerator as x, x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 3 factorial. This way we can cancel out the x minus 3 factorials in the numerator and the denominator. And we know that this number over here, must be equal to 120 because in the problem statement it tells us they both can choose from the same number of combinations. So again after we've cancelled out the x minus 3 factorials on top and bottom we'll get this expression right here. 3 factorial is equal to 3 times 2 times 1 which is 6 so if we multiply by 6 on both sides of this expression, we will get x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 is equal to 6 times 120, which is 720. Okay, so now we have this number 720, and we see that it's equal to the product of three consecutive numbers, right? Because we have x, x minus 1, x minus 2. Well, we can see that 720 is equal to 72 times 10 and 72 is equal to 8 times 9 so we can see what our triplet what are three numbers that are consecutive that multiply to 720 are going to be 10 right because 10 represents the x times 9 which is x minus 1 times 8 which is x minus 2 so that means that our x must be 10. Well, keep in mind that x represented the number of flavors that she had left to choose from. So if in the beginning there was a total of 16 and there's 10 left after some are sold out, we know that 16 minus 10, which is 6, 6 flavors must have been sold out which is answer choice E. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.